Kieran the Barber at Boldy's Barbers. I am an Andis UK educator. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to do one of our disconnected skull fades. It's one of our signature haircuts in the shop um, and it, we do them absolutely all the time, all day, every day. So I'm just going to give you a little insight to what we do Today what we're using for my disconnected skin fade, I'm going to be using the Andis T outliners with a foil shaver head. The foil shaver head is going to take that right down to the bone. But to get to that point, I'm going to need to use the brand new um, Slimline um, Ions. Um, they're absolutely amazing. I've had these about two weeks. They are the best wireless clipper I've ever used in my whole life. Um, and then for my standard clipper, I'm going to be using my US Pros just to take out the, the weight first of all. And then to blend in all that afterwards, I'm going to be using my Andis Fades. Because my Andis Fades have a, um, what is it called? Surgical flathead. A surgical flathead blade. So I'm going to be using the Andis fades because of the surgical flathead blade. And I'm going to be doing that all with an Andis clipper comb. So there we go. Right guys, so today, as I said, we're going to be doing a disconnected skull fade um, on my model stand here. What we're going to do is we're going to completely, we're going to be completely separating this top bit, um, and then we're going to skin fade quite high up, just probably just up to the temple, and then coming up at a slight angle. Because what you want to do is you want to keep this part here just a bit with a bit of hair, so you can shape it round from sort of the top of the head to the temple. You want to keep that there. So I'll shape this up, come at about a 40 degree angle, go quite high with it. And then we're going to completely raise that down. Then we're going to chip into it, take a little bit of length off, play about with it a little bit. Give it some definition and texture. So, I start off straight away with my US Pros on a zero grade. Because I want to take off all this bulk. Come up nice and high. Because this skin fades high, um, Stan, Stan likes his hair sort of faded really high. I take it up sort of abnormally higher than I would usually. Because usually what I'll do is I'll take it to temple. But as this is a high skin fade, we're going to take the skin to about here and then blend in from there. So that's why I'm taking on the zero. Quite high. It's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. So after I've gone with the zero on my US Pros, I'm just gonna use a, a very soft brush just to get all the hair off, just to know where I'm at. And I'm gonna show you, um, not many people would have seen these later unless you've been to shows or anything like that. These are the brand new Andis Slimline Pro Ions. They're a lithium battery and they are the best wireless clipper I've ever used in my life. I'm not really, I'll be honest, um, I'm, an, I'm an Andis UK educator. I love, I love Andis. I don't really like wireless clippers. Um, 
or wireless mini trimmers, that's all I like, because I really like the wireless clippers. Um, these I'll, I'll use and I'll buy and I'll keep buying them because I'll show you how close they get. One, they get close, and two, even though they're small and they're wireless, they still get through bulk, um, which they, sh they shouldn't really do that. I've proper, proper put them to their test. And I've gone through some really thick hair and they don't give up. They're a really, really strong clipper. As long as you look after them and you oil them, just give them a cheeky spray with a bit of Proline or a bit of Andis Clipper Care. Sort of after, after every other haircut or whatever, just wipe them down, making sure they're hair free. If you look after your clippers, your clippers will look after you. That's, that's what I sort of say. So again, I just brush that down and you, I mean, you guys already can see how close that's got. There's hardly any hair there. That, that would be um, a skin fade in a normal shop. If someone sort of said, can I have a skin fade? This is what people, most people would take it down to. Unless obviously they take it down with a razor. Or some barbershops have started using sort of foil shavers to go down to right down to the skull to do a skull fade. It's skin fade, skull fade, it's, it's, it's the same thing but we like to make a difference because uh, when people say skin as I say, some people just say can I have a number one skin fade? So I, I, I clearly go do you want a skull fade, do you want me to take it right to the skull? And then that makes it as clear as day that I'm going to take all the hair off the sofa. Okay, so now what I'm going to use is I'm going to be using the Andis T outliners with the foil head attached to it. Um, this is my main tool for the day. I'd say my US Pros were my main tool for everyday use. My second main tool is this for skin fades because I get so many in. Um, and I've used this in previous videos. I'm just going to genuinely again show you how amazing it is. Um, so yeah. I just get you to put your head down slightly stuff. Now you can see that's, I wish you could feel it. It's, it's like stubble, so it's like a day stubble. It's close, real close. You get this? You just go in with it. I go up, down, all different directions. Don't push it to force it. <laughs> Don't push it to force it, literally just nice and gently, sweeping motions, circular motions, side to side, just getting all that air off. Because the hair grows in all different directions, so you've got to try and catch it out as you will miss bits. fades to finish off the rest of the fading part of the hair. This has a surgical flathead blade on it and no bevel. As you can see most normal clippers have a bevel but this has a straight edge blade. It's more for scratching than doing a sort of C motion. So what you do is you come up like that instead of coming like that. I'm going to show you how to use that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on a zero just to get this line out here. I'm literally just going to scratch it.
as you can see that's slowly slowly fading out what I will do is I will use my um, even my T outliners or my slimline pro ions just just to get that little line up because they're a little bit closer but that's pretty much taking that line up straight away and on, um, on big clippers that, that doesn't usually do that this is this is how close these get so then with this part here I'm going to take it up to a half on my andis and I'm literally I'm not going to come I'm not going to see I'm not going to come in I'm just going to come straight up just to take that hair out I mean you could do you could go clip over comb like that I mean, it does. It, it, there's all different ways of doing things. It's just getting to it. This is how I do it. Whether it be the right way, the wrong way, this is this is just how I do it. Um, because there has been some people out there who say I've had a lot of comments recently about my fading techniques. Um, a lot of sort of disheartened comments about me fading people said I can't fade um, I'm not very good my techniques are awful um, which is fair enough I'll sort of, I'll accept that I'm still learning at the end of the day I don't, I would rather learn than think I know everything and think I can fade and think I'm the best because I'm not the best I'm not even close to being the best um, but obviously other people that think I can't fade off think that. Bless them. So to them people I say hello. How are you? I'm not going to swear. Um, Natalie's told me I'm not allowed to swear. Natalie is my college teacher. She said that in my videos. My college teacher. She was my college teacher. Bless her. Um, she said in my videos I swear too much. So I'm going to try not to swear. Which is really hard. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm still going to be myself I'm still going to be honest I'm still going to say what I've got to say um, because that's what people want people want me uh, this is a raw video this is, uh, this is very very hardly unedited um, I'm just being myself like I would be in a barbershop like I would teach um, say Corbin who I'm teaching in a minute um, which he's going to be an absolutely fantastic little barber or Tom or Tommy Poppet who I taught or um, little Stacy um, Lee I helped out with a little bit but they can't fade either because I can't fade so maybe I need to watch some more videos
So now I'm just going to go around the shape up with my um, slimline coat ions. Try and leave it as sort of natural as we can, we don't want no pushbacks. I'm literally just going to take So now we're stands here, we're going to take the top, we're going to leave, we're going to leave pretty much most of that length um, and we're just going to take just a quarter of an inch off, so I'm going to club cut it all round and I'm going to really chip into it, texturise it and everything like that, which is great. So literally if I start off with a quarter of an inch, and sort of get a little bit sure as I come back each time. just want to say while I'm here, um, we have a New World Barbers group on Facebook um, where all barbers come, they share their haircuts, they share just their thoughts and, and everything like that. So if you're, if you're on Facebook or Twitter or even Instagram, give the, the New World Barbers a, a follow or come into our group and share, share all your work because I mean I'm there's a few of us who are admins, we're all upset you in. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below so you can just click on it and come in the group and let everyone know that you're here. And share all your work. Show us what you got. It's also good if you're if you're starting out and learning because everyone's in there putting haircuts on the time. I think I've I've had the group up about a week now and I think it's got just it's got well over a thousand um, people join it. Which is brilliant because it's the barbering community coming together, and that's what you want in this world. You don't want people hating and slagging off everyone's work. You want everyone to be sharing and appreciating everyone's work and looking at their work and saying, "Do you know what? I could do that with my work, or this could work on on what I'm doing in a minute." And then you share your work, and people tell you how they're inspired by your work. And it's just nice, Everyone, everyone's sort of really nice in the group, no one's really bitchy or horrible, it doesn't, doesn't work like that, this, this world doesn't work like that. The barber world, you sh everyone should show barber love, everyone should show barber love and respect one another's talent, regardless of you just started or you've been in the industry 40, 50 years, everyone, everyone's got to make money, everyone's got to work and you should just enjoy it. See how I did that about swearing, Natalie? You should be well proud of me. There you go. So now, this is a special appearance. I didn't think I was going to use this today, but hey ho, why not? Um, special appearance from the T24. Um, my favourite detachable blade. I love it. I use this on most texturizers and haircuts. See, I've just point cut, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of sort of raw texture into it by just literally sort of hacking at the hair with this. Bad boy. I, I absolutely love this. Um, and people at my... I went to a show and a couple of people brought it and the feedback I've had from it has been absolutely phenomenal. Everyone who brought it loved it. So yeah, it's it's a good blade. It's it's something that everyone should have in their kit at some point. So what I'll do is I'll just pull down the hair. As Stan's hair is um is quite fine, it's not really thick hair. I'm gonna there's two um sorry, let me just show you this button quickly. There's two settings. There's low speed and there's high speed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the low speed, the stand hair, because what it'll do is it won't take out a lot, it will just really just texturize them ends out. I'm 
and you bring the hair back down, you go in the middle, do is I'll come around this side. Blue beards, shove it, cut for a razor. The best you can buy in the UK. Honestly, I'm not sponsored by them. They don't pay me. I have nothing from them. They have nothing from me. But I love them. This is, we all use them in the shop. It's the best cut throat you can buy um, in the UK. So you need to get on blue beards and you need to buy them. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut for up Stan's head. So I'm going to use a bit of, um, I use this in my videos all the time as well. Is the Proline spray. Oil sheen. So what you can do is you can spray that on your clippers to sort of oil up your clippers. Or you can put it over the face, just slightly covering the eye. Misting it slightly. Just the whole back of the neck, just around the edges. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch the skin. I know there's nothing there to cut but it's always nice just to go over it, just to get a shape in there. Right, so now I've wet the hair down, I've raised it everywhere. Just gonna get rid of that. I'm just gonna whack a little bit of sea salt spray in there. I'm gonna towel it out slightly before I dry it, just to give it that sort of texturized look. I don't want it dead straight. the sea salt spray dried it through the hair sort of clumped together slightly a bit of magic powder don't snore here put it in your hair what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub it into the hair and then I'm going to use a bit of Baldi's hard ass Um, which is a quite a dry matte paste. You only need the tiniest bit of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit out of it. And rub that all through the hair. Want to get my streaker? No one's ever used a streaker before. It's a Demon streaker. It's a wide tooth comb. I'm just gonna make sure all the product gets all the way through before I mess with it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to just spin that round slightly. Head back. Just going to put 
press on that with it a little bit. As everyone does, I'm not going to put any spray in there today because it has got quite good natural height to it. And voila. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my skin slash skull faded disconnected texturized top cut. Um. Sticking out to the end of watching my video, I really hope you learned something. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, big thank you to Genesis Clothing for sort of supporting my channel. Their link is in the description below. Give them a look; they're absolutely awesome. Um, also, check out the new World Barbers page, which I spoke about in the video. Um, that link is in the description below. Like, share, comment, subscribe to me. Um, let me know what you think um, and I really hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching guys also guys just quickly I'm doing a for my next video I'm doing a questions and answers a Q&A um, so comment in this video any questions that you have on